Alright pals, welcome back. I'm going to run a toss sweep play this time. And I'm not going to focus so much on a successful toss sweep as uh, attempting to defend against it because uh, this is a very effective play in electric football. Uh, especially on smaller fields where you, you just cannot uh, run the ball up the middle or, or around the tackles. You, you know, an in run has some success, but you don't have a lot of sp space. But with you know, a larger field like this, a toss sweep can be catastrophic for the defense if you uh, fail to uh, anticipate it and or uh, maintain coverage on the ball carrier. So <laughs> you know, I don't know what's going to happen here. I've run a few of these and they've all gone for you know, six. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. We've got the Cowboys on offense and the Vikings on defense. Staubach is going to pitch back. I, I don't know if that's Deion Sanders or Ezekiel Elliott. Could be either. We'll call him Deion this time. But uh, I, at this stage, I don't know which direction we're taking the ball left or right. Now, I could try to pivot all, everyone on the offense at an angle a certain way and try to pull the defense that way and then send the uh, the uh, the ball carrier the other way. That's one way to do it. I think I'll just keep them all angled forward for this, this run for demonstration purposes. Um, uh, the biggest threat on the toss sweep is the uh, outside linebackers. Uh, if they get around your uh, tackles and or tight end, uh, then, you know, if they're blitzing the quarterback, you're going to have a hard time uh, getting to the uh, the sideline with your ball carrier. Uh, if, you're, if you're dealing with, uh, you know, dialed bases, uh, there's a lot of coaches out there that, that uh, turn the uh, outside linebackers' bases towards midfield every time to try to sack the quarterback on every play. That's going to make a toss sweep play a little difficult. However, if you've got your... Uh, uh, running back, your halfback, on a dialed base and anticipate the curl just right. You can take it all the way to the sideline, curl it around the line of scrimmage, and then head back in towards infield. Now, rarely will you take it to the house that way because you're just going to do a circle uh, with a curl, with the appropriate curl, but you will gain positive yardage, including more than likely a first down. Now, this scenario is something like third and 12, so a first down is crucial. Uh, the Vikings... Uh, anticipating a pass here. So this is, a, this is a kind of a gamble for the Cowboys to, to run it on third and 12. But uh, the most important thing is to try to get the uh, defensive backs to get out of the way, to get downfield. Now I've got uh, zone coverage here between the uh, safety and uh, the two middle linebackers who are back very deep for this play because, again, they're, they're sort of anticipating a, a, a pass. So this is sort of a pass rush scenario here but we still got the halfback back here he is a threat this is a fast base and he is stationary so we can uh, wait until after the read to determine whether uh, we're going to go through with which direction we're going to run this so let's just go ahead and do the uh, snap here okay and there's quite a few gaps in the <laughs> they should have shot you know if the linebackers had shot these gaps they could probably have made a play on the uh, uh, on the ball carrier or on the uh, quarterback so I want to sell sort of a, a slant route here with the um, uh, tight end. And of course, you can't block an eligible tight end, so the, the uh, tackle either has to abandon coverage and try to make a play backfield or stick with the tight end. And he's just going to stick with the tight end here. Um, uh, this is just man, man coverage here, for except I'm going to pivot this slot receiver eh, toward the center field, as as one does. And these guys are just going to turn around. Or this defensive back is just going to turn around, sail straight downfield, as is the case with this uh, defensive back. He's just going to follow this wide receiver, try to anticipate the route, and we'll go from there. Now the quarterback, eh, probably do the toss about right there. So what can go wrong at this stage? Well... Uh, in fact, nope, he's blocked. This outside linebacker can shut the play down if he gets through. It's looking like the sweep might have to go this direction. We'll just have to see. Um, could fumble the toss, the pitch out. That, we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. And uh, the base could misbehave on the halfback. You know, I'm using one of my homemade bases here. Uh, the alignment's off in any way, shape, or form. It may, it may curl this way and you lose all forward progress and might make it to the line of scrimmage. The goal here 
is to get to the line of scrimmage, the 38-yard line, at which point we pause the board and the ball carrier only may pivot, at which point the defense takes over on uh, handling the switch. Okay, I've done all I want to do here. Um, so let's see what happens here for the, a very short read. Okay, all right. So, the... Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm ready to sell this this way now. So we'll do the toss here in just a moment. Uh, there's actually kind of a tasty gap down the middle, but either one of these linebackers would plug it. Now at this point, look here. Yeah, can't can't do a toss sweep this direction because uh, this linebacker will spoil it. So it's going to have to be this way. So uh, I'm going to take one linebacker off here and just send him downfield in, in zone coverage. I'm going to leave the safety right where he is for now. I'm going to leave this linebacker where he is. If the toss sweep had made it to this line, you'd have this linebacker here to deal with it. Okay, so now, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make him unstationary. Go ahead and line up my angle for the sideline. I'm, I'm angled for the sideline here. Remember, these guys will all be gone. All these guys will be gone when he makes it to the uh, line of scrimmage, if he makes it to the line of scrimmage. We'll go ahead and, and roll for the uh, handoff check, and I just do that with two six-sided dice on a roll of uh, snake eyes. It's a fumble. Any other roll, it's not. And I rolled a seven, so we're good. So we're ready. I think, yeah, I think we've got the angle I want. Uh... Worst case scenario, this defensive end punches through these defenders and tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Okay, here we go. There's where I'm shooting for. That was easy. Okay, so now uh, the uh, ball carry is going to pivot, and this is just going to go straight down the field. Now, he may not get the first down out of this, so I actually think I'm going to angle him towards the sideline. Number 27 is poised to tackle. However... Number 78 is poised to execute a terrific block. But let's go ahead and do our unblocked pivot. So, uh, oh wait, before we do that, yeah, I got to do the defensive bump of the board. I almost forgot. And it's just going to be microscopic here. Okay. So now we can, Stahlbach is out of the play. He, he did what he wanted to do. Uh, so this is the most crucial block on this play between 78 and 27. Uh, meanwhile, 28 is going to turn around, but he's going to get blocked immediately by 82. 52 may be able to stop this. Otherwise, it's 22. Uh, the free safety is going to be blocked by number 9 there. And, in fact, we might as well just uh, send the uh, free safety backfield just in case. Okay. Well, I think there's a good chance of picking up a first down here. It's not going to go to, it's not going to be six points. Uh, but that was not particularly the goal on this play. So, here's your ball carrier. He simply has to make it to the 49-yard um, uh, line here to get the first down. 27 is the biggest threat. If he can outrun 76 there on the Cowboys, he has a shot at it. So, here we go. Good block. Oh, nice block. He got the first down, and uh, he's tackled at the 39-yard uh, line here for a huge gain. So it's first and 10 at the 39. Tackled by number 22 on the Vikings. That was a great toss sweep play. Uh, like I said, very, very uh, effective, um, especially if the defense is not anticipating a toss sweep. It almost requires your cornerbacks to abandon coverage on the uh, wideouts, which... You know, if you're doing some sort of RPO uh, scheme, that could be catastrophic. We do have a player down, and we'll go ahead and... This is a... Oh, that's Tarkenton, number 12. He's got 10 hit points, so if I roll an 11 or 12, he's injured. I roll a 3. He's fine. That was just a, a spillover. That was a great play. Great example of a toss sweep. And, of course, in conventional electric football... It's actually even easier, pals, because if you've got your uh, running back on a dialed base that you've, you've you've trained the corner properly, 
very rarely will you get six points out of it, but you're, you're going to get some huge yardage, unless you're back in zone coverage with a spinning dial on defense, you know. You know, there's a lot of uh, players, a lot of coaches out there that uses that to great effect, just having, you know, the having your uh, safeties spinning in the backfield. That can that can shut down a, uh, a toss sweep play. But using my rule set, you've just got to anticipate. And with a larger board, ah, it's, 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 it almost feels like cheating, pals. It's so effective. I've always preferred the toss sweep over any other type of run play. Uh, now, next time, I guess we'll do a quarterback keeper, which is effectively a toss sweep without the toss. Uh, because, again, the quarterback is typically going to scramble and then shoot for the flat or the sidelines in order to, uh, to make the play. Excellent block down there by that. Uh, uh, I think that was actually an offensive tackle. <laughs> I think he should not have been downfield. Uh, let me, uh, yeah, that was number 78. Well, he wasn't five yards downfield, was he? Uh, he was, well, yeah, he was. Okay, well, guys, you can't call that penalty because if you do, it happens on every single play, and every play is a penalty. You cannot control what these linemen do. So uh, uh, that's that's my that's my rule. That's my word. So uh, you can disagree with that if you so choose. But yeah, very effective toss sweep play. Okay, so stay tuned next time. We'll let the uh, Vikings run a quarterback keeper with Fran Tarkenton, who's on a very fast base. Okay, thanks for watching, pals. Back to the studio.